Dusty Crop Hopper. Well, he's a work in progress right now. This is the actual guy. I'm not making him exact, but he will be very close when I'm done. Here's where I'm at right now. I just attached the wheels today. I have my wood angled up. I haven't added the back wheels yet. I have a top piece for him right here, which is going to have his eyes. It's also going to have a it's also going to have a handle already made um, or cut out, not put together yet. I still have to put it together. I'm painting it, of course. Handle's going to go through the center holes right right here to hold on to. All the cracks will be filled. It's going to be painted. Uh, orange and white with the number seven on it. Maybe the number 77. It's gonna be spread out. Got the wood cut to sp specific angles. Um, it's not a back wheel. It's gonna look a lot like it. Part of my tail fin that I'm still working on. Just working with it right now. Here's a few other things I'm working on in my woodworking fun. I was given this solid oak chair to repair. Uh, so far I've only taken off the old glue that someone else has done prior to on a previous repair look at that oh my god that's not taken apart and it's super glued was a ton of glue less is more for sure that is a lot wow focus okay anyway so i'm working on that this is an upside down bench just made it today made it with the heavy duty wood this one is going to wind up being for um, these these bars across are made of pop poplar. The rest is just good old fashioned two by twelve. Oh my God, that's heavy. Hang on. Okay. Not attached yet. Still a work in progress. It's a little five board bench. Very, very solid. Whew. Not done. Work in progress. Work in progress. This little chest here. Um, so I'm gonna trim down these edges. These little feet at the bottom, these are actually hickory right here. They hold, they hold the box up. The side pieces hold the legs together. All the screw holes will be filled with wood wood putty, then painted white. I'm gonna add trim onto it also. Just a box for the heck of it. What else am I doing in my build projects? It's one of my surfboards I've got to repair over there that I built. Um, working on a little box right here. So work in progress also. I have a bunch of them. Let's take a walk to the back. Dusty, work in progress. But it would get done a lot quicker if I did one project at a time. But that's not what I do. For some reason, I do five at a time. Hey, Holly. That's my half pit, half lab, beautiful dog I love. This over here is still a work in progress. This is for barbecue. It's, it's, it's my little valet or my barbecue table, so to speak. It gets very windy out here. I have no neighbors that live behind my house except for like over 100 yards. We have a bayou behind my house. So it gets real windy here sometimes. I built a shelf up here to hold my spices so they won't blow off, rope blow off. I just put some primer on it yesterday. Inside here, I have openings on both of them. That's so the wind can blow through. I figured if I had it solid across the back, the wind could catch it like a parachute and maybe you'd be able to dump it over. Maybe, it weighs 40, 50 pounds. I don't know, a lot. It's 100% popular. It probably cost a hundred bucks just for the wood alone in, in the 
Uh, plus, uh, I built it, you know, I love it. It's, I think it's beautiful. Got a couple things for holding my rags. This is to hold my trays of meat, my spices, my rags. I'll have wood on the bottom, maybe my lighter fluid, and whatever else I want to put on it, barbecue related. It's one of my, my main pit. It's old, but it's still good. My, it's a heavy duty bench I built. I'm still painting it, working on it. The wood's gotten real warped on the bench top. I love the legs on it. Custom cut them, extra big, big fat feet. It's a heavy duty wood. It's got poplar on it, it's got pine on it. On the back side, on this side of it, as you see the bottom board stops here. You can put umbrellas in the, and hang them right here and they'll hang down in here. On this side of it, you can put magazines in the back. And this thing is probably 80 pounds, heavy duty. Fence, I've built this fence here and painted it. This is to delay my children, my grandchildren from getting to the pools to keep them safe. Um, built the whole thing, like locks, lights, painted it, attached it. I still have a little work to do on it. Mainly the back end of it has to be built yet. So I've already implanted this pole in cement. I want to have another gate on the back side over here forget my lawnmower back there and here I was thinking of adding one more post but it's, I really don't need it I may add it attach it to the deck instead of you know putting it in the ground and let's take a look at some of the other stuff I built a few of my completed stuff hammock super comfortable but what's really awesome with the hammock is when you're laying down and you look up you get to watch the palm trees swaying in the breeze and it's pretty relaxing, fun, relaxing. You have to relax sometimes. All work, no play, it's no good. Okay. Focus. There's my, my little girl, Holly. She had a little operation a couple days ago. She's already doing a lot better. Last Thursday, it's my love bench. I like the way I did the ends on it, where it was almost squared off. A couple of holes, I put a little stain on it. Um, it's short, two people can fit on it. It's very solid, very nice. Matches my deck and my fencing. And I have two colors on my fence. I don't know if you notice, spice and a darker color. Another bench I made, it's about 18 inches high very solid excellent condition stained and sealed what I want to show you is the feet I kind of made it like uh, on all four of them cowboy boots oh yeah cowboy boots and it's like a guy holding up the board on both sides I was going to paint it that way and make it another children's bench, but it's too tall for that. Uh, it's about all together about 18 and a half or inches or so. Very sturdy, very good fiberboard bench. A few more things I've built. Coming up over here. This is a wooden bench I call the Batman bench. I made these wings all the way around it. This is for my grandchildren. It's only 10 inches high. It's a miniature mini bench. Isn't that cool? The kids love it. My, uh, then, and use it. That's our mint farm. And another bench I made with long legs, long thin legs. Don't use it as much. The brace boards going up are two by fours. I normally don't use two by fours. I use thin boards. A bit of a good wood, like poplar, which I like. And it's a nice old board. And back in my house. So, lots of projects going on right now. Five, maybe six. That uh, dusty crop hopper is going to be a plain swing to replace this swing right here. 
because I have another one I built right here. That's a bi-wing plane I built. The grandkids sit on it. We push them around. They put their feet on the bottom red wing, hold on to the handle I made, um, and they we take them for rides on it. And that's my first plane I made with wheels and everything. They love that too. They love the movie planes. And so I made them a plane. I'm working on my second one. Work in progress. Anyway, God bless America. Live happy. No matter what you have to do, live happy. Right, Holly? She's a good girl. Good girl. There she is. There's Holly. Holly. That's Holly. She's my little girl. 75 pound little girl. Half pit bull, half Labrador retriever. Awesome protector and an awesome dog. Life is what you make of it.